Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning as we look towards the exciting future that Walt Disney Parks and Resorts is building. It's time for a very special edition of What's Next? time for all of us here at the Disneyland Resort as we are well over the halfway mark in the second largest expansion in our resort's history. As you'll hear in a few moments, we are working diligently towards our goal, our ultimate goal of making Disneyland Resort the multi-day destination in Southern California. In addition, our progress continues to bolster the economy of Southern California. Our decision to invest so significantly in the expansion at Disney California Adventure was based chiefly on extensive guest research. We found that our guests were looking for three key elements. First, they wanted a more immersive environment. Secondly, they were in search of more family attractions. And finally, they just wanted more Disney. So while we opened two new great attractions during the past two days, we have even more to open this summer. In just a few weeks, July 1st to be exact, we'll see the opening of our newest attraction in Paradise Pier, Goofy Sky School. Inspired by the classic Goofy how-to shorts of the 1940s and 50s, as well as the cartoon short, Goofy's Glider, the theme of this coaster is a flying academy with your pal Goofy with twists and turns and dips as Goofy tries to navigate you through the novice pilots through this new attraction. Also coming to Paradise Pier at the same time are two new restaurants, Wardwalk Pizza and Pasta and the Paradise Garden Grill. Themed as authentic family-owned venues, they'll feature great menus offering mouth-watering Italian and Mediterranean cuisine. And that's just the beginning. For as you know, we have a very, very big year ahead of us in 2012. As we speak, the main entrance of Disney California Adventure is in the process of getting a brand new look. This new entrance, modeled after the landmark Pan Pacific Auditorium in Los Angeles, will lead our guests directly into the park. This is an early computer rendering, which allows us to fly through the front portion of the park and along Buena Vista Street. At the end of the street, you can see the Carthay Circle Theater, a recreation of one of California's most iconic movie palaces. The Carthay Circle truly epitomizes the golden age of Hollywood. Buena Vista Street is our new thoroughfare into the park, and it ultimately sets the tone with a terrific sense of time and place. As we make our way back to the main entrance, you get a sense of the new space, and of the many shops and storefronts that are all themed to the California of yesteryear. While Main Street over in Disneyland is reminiscent of where Walt Disney grew up, Buena Vista Street will give guests a sense of what Los Angeles was like when Walt Disney arrived in the early 1920s. Also included in our expansion will be the red car trolley, 
based on the Southland's historic Pacific Electric red car line. It will transport guests along Hollywood Boulevard and Buena Vista Street. Here's a closer look of the Carthay Circle, which was where Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs premiered back in 1937. I should mention that it will also contain an incredible new table service restaurant and lounge. So on behalf of the 21,000 cast members here at the Disneyland Resort, we can't wait to share these new experiences with you next year. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for being here today.